Welcome back. Just a quick video today. I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble and reassemble one of these pop rivet guns. Now maybe you have to take it apart because the little pin didn't eject and you need to get it to remove it or you have other reasons like you want to clean it or you're just curious to see how they work. But either way, I'm going to point out something. You notice that there are different size heads on this and there's a little wrench over here that you would use to remove this and obviously depending on what size rivet you're using depends on which size head you need now I've noticed with this particular gun the smallest one never really fit anything that I had and I have one of these small ones now this is an eighth of an inch collar over here but the pin was just a little too small for this one here you can see when I put it in it wobbled a lot and what happens is when you try to crimp this down it doesn't actually grab and you don't get anywhere so it's always a pain in the neck so I figured you know what I need this for a project this would be a good time to work on this and what I did was is I just took a small drill bit as you can see I have one right here and using a drill bit guide I figured this is the right size bit for this pin and I actually went ahead and just drilled this out and it was just the neck size up so this fits in here perfectly now now it's not going to go in all the way because I have this thing locked down but that was one of the things I wanted to do so I figured since I had this out and I'm going through the motions I'm going to show you guys how to remove everything here now we're going to keep this locked and you're going to need the tool that this came with and you notice one side of it's flat bladed like a screwdriver and the other side has this hex head on it and as mentioned this is what you're going to use to just tighten the uh, loosen the tension on this and take this off and inside here there's a set of jaws and briefly i'll just undo this here so you can see the operation this comes in and out so what we're going to actually do is is we're going to remove this pin up here and you can see there is a flat blade side on it now this just basically uh, just turns and you can push it through and pull it now what's going to happen is the spring is going to come flying out of here so I'm going to put my finger on here to catch that spring and you should see that this whole column comes right out so you'll have a spring and if we tap this on the table we're going to have uh, what I'll call an anvil and then the jaws so I'll just lay that out real quick so you can get how that goes and of course the head goes on that side and this goes on the top so that's pretty much how you get it apart it all comes apart really easily and of course if you undo this you can see that this is uh, this is hinged up here if you really need to this is an e-clip you can just pop this e-clip out and you can get in there and remove that but there really isn't any reason to do that there really isn't anything else in there so if you wanted to check down there, you can see if there's any obstruction, which you can see there is not. If this pin gets stuck in these jaws, it should all come out together. But now we got to put it all back, and this is where it gets a little tough if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you can see that this particular unit here, it's got all the uh, coating wearing off on it because it's been used pretty well. Um, but what I'll show you guys is this is the little uh, hinge piece. And if you notice, this side's kind of flatted out, and this side's round over here. That flat portion there is where the spring actually sits. You can see that there. Um, and the other thing you can see on this anvil piece here, it's kind of got this sloping like, taper to it. That's for the jaws. And you can see they have like a threaded inside here. And they fit together, and they have that same kind of a ramp kind of taper thing going on. And this sits in here like that, and that's what actually causes this to open when this taper part gets into this uh, cone piece up here. And the inside of the head also has that same cone shape, so when this gets here, it splits it open. And that's what allows this pin to be grabbed. So when this here opens up like this, you're actually allowing the jaws in here to come down and push open so you can take your... Uh, rivet and pop it in here and then you can s squeeze this shut and then that should pop it basically so how do you assemble this well it actually isn't that bad if you notice the top hinge up here has this little slot in it and that's the same slot that we use to push out with this bit here um, what we need that to actually put this back together so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the jaws we're going to connect them together like this in their proper orientation and we're going to slide them down now it doesn't matter which way they go because this is rounded there's no keying in, in there but you do want the jaws to stick out like that and if they don't come out one at a time or they're not right you just jiggle it a little bit and it'll come out next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the anvil piece in there and do the same thing 
and just that natural ramp in there it's just going to fall into place the right way then you're going to take the spring you're going to put that on but you'll notice the spring is actually blocking this piece here what you'll do if you notice there's actually a hole uh, it's right here in the side see camera just picks that up but there is a hole there um, you'll take this piece and you want to line that little slit up with that hole like so and you're going to push it in and what's going to happen is, is that hole and that slit's going to line up and that'll allow you to actually take a rivet and push that rivet into that hole and if you line it up just right of course I did this off camera before and I said this would be a good thing to show so I kind of redid everything but that's what you're going to want to do so now this can come out and the spring stays compacted in there and uh, that way your hole is clean you can go ahead and push this right through so what you'll have to do is, is again lock this like that and then put this down inside there of course make sure the rivet isn't in too far or else it'll hit the handle here and I might have to back it out just a little bit now be careful you don't want this thing popping out because you'll send your spring flying it's under quite a bit of tension and it should go in here now it'll go in further than you need it to go but you just need to line these holes up you can see you can line it up this way you can line it up up and down but if you get it just right you should be able to just take this and mind you want the flat side facing down and it doesn't matter which side the slit faces just as long as that flat side's down and uh see if we can do this i can't do it one handed i'll have to do it two handed but you should be able to just push this in and line everything up and pull that rivet out and that's it as long as this sits out you know just the tension of the spring should keep this from working its way out you know and that's it you can test it by activating the handle here and you can see it does stay into that slit it's not sticking out on the other side or protruding at all i should say and that's exactly what you want and then the last thing to do is you can see the little jaws in there you want to bring this back uh, into the closed position and then you can thread your head on and then just give it a little a little tight hand tightens all you need and then don't forget to replace your tool you don't want to lose that and that's it and your basic operation is, is you're going to want to let this open like this and stick the rivet into the nose you might have to push it in a little bit that engages the jaws it's nice and tight and then when you squeeze this I can already tell since I drilled this head out it's much better you're gonna get tension on this and I'll show you and that's that's the rivet starting to to go and then you might have to go a second time that's it now if this was actually in something it would actually bind the two surfaces together obviously but since we're just doing this out in the open you're not going to get that and then what should happen is when you open this up you might have to give it a little jiggle and the head the pin should come out like that that's it thanks guys we'll see you next video